Detective Mayhul is trapped in a room. There are five doors through which he can escape. Behind the first door are zombies. Behind the second door is a mummy. Behind the third door lives a vampire. Behind the fourth door is a wolf. And there's a ghost behind the final door. Which door should Mayhul choose to escape the room? Tell us in the comments section. Let's see what happens. He will select the last door. Ghosts love to scare humans, but they don't intend to kill them, so this room will be the safest for Mayhul. Interesting, wasn't it? Let's move on to the next riddle. Ben is kidnapped and imprisoned in a skyscraper by a magician. There is no way he could escape. He finds three jars of magical water. All three of them will grant him different powers, but only for a short span of 30 minutes. If he consumes the water from the first jar, he will become super powerful. If he consumes the water from the second jar, he will become a zombie. If he drinks water from the third jar, he will turn into a vampire. Which jar's water should he consume in order to escape? Think and tell us your answer in comments. Let's see what happens. Ben waits for the sun to set, then he drinks water from the third jar and turns into a vampire. He then transforms into a bat and flies away from the window. Interesting, wasn't it? Let's move on to the next riddle. Four friends stumble upon a haunted mansion, daring each other to enter its eerie confines. Tony filled with apprehension, warns his friends. Hey buddies, don't venture inside the mansion. Curious about Tony's cautionary words? Logical army, can you guess the reason behind Tony's ominous warning? Let me know your answer by commenting. Let's hope on to the answer. The answer lies in the footprints outside the mansion while they all lead in, none return. It's an ominous sign, suggesting that anyone who enters may never come back. Let's move on to the next riddle. Rhea goes to the jungle for an adventure. There, she gets trapped in a cave. What do I do now? Gogo -Go places a bomb in the cave that is said to explode in five minutes. There is a huge door through which she can escape. Observe carefully, can you tell what must be the code to open the door? Here's the answer. If you look closely, it's a pattern. The code is third digit plus second digit minus first digit. In the first equation, 1 minus 1 will be equal to 0, and adding 5 to it will make it a 5. Similarly, in the second equation, 2 minus 1 will be 1, and 1 plus 5 will give a 6. So for the last equation, 9 minus 5 will give a 4, and adding 5 to the 4 will again give a 9. Rhea enters 9 as the code, and the door opens. As she moves forward, she comes across three doors. Behind the first door is a wolf. Behind the second door, there is continuous acid rain that would burn her alive. Behind the third door are venomous spikes that would pierce her foot as soon as she steps in. Can you guess which of the doors is safest for her? Think and let me know your answer through comments. Let's see what happens. Rhea goes back to the first door, where the bomb was placed, and carries the bomb with her. She opens the first door, throws the bomb inside, and shuts the door quickly. As soon as the bomb explodes, she opens the door and escapes through it. Interesting, wasn't it? Let's get to the next one. My bag has been stolen! Says one man as he runs towards the police station. It has millions of dollars. Quickly catch the thief. When the cops question him about the thief, he says, I was walking down the street when a boy came running from behind. He was wearing gloves and a face mask. He snatched the bag from my hands and ran away. I couldn't see him. How come you have scratches all over your face? The cops inquired. 
When I tried to catch him, he hit me. The man claims. I was hurt because he had a gold ring on his right hand. The police immediately understand that this is a false report. How? Can you think and tell me? Let's see the answer. How did the man see a gold ring if the robber was wearing gloves? Which implies he was lying. Let's move to the next riddle. A waiter calls Detective Mehul and tells him that someone attacked him. I was in the storeroom when someone attacked me from behind. I couldn't see his face as I fainted on the spot after he hit me. He also tells Mehul that he hasn't told anyone else about this incident. Detective Mehul reaches the crime scene and interrogates all three people present there. The owner says, I was at the counter all day. It was a busy day. I didn't have time for all of this. The second waiter says, I was in the kitchen and was looking after the customers. It was very crowded today. The chef says, I was preparing food for everyone. There were too many orders today, so I was busy. I didn't have any time to go to the storeroom. Now you think and tell me who must have attacked the waiter. Think carefully and tell me your answer in the comment section. Let's have a look at the answer. The chef had attacked the waiter. How did he know that waiter was attacked in the storeroom if he was in the kitchen? Mayhul understands this and arrests the chef. Let's move on to the next one. Slanky and Shorty live in a small town in Southern California. Their story is very interesting. Slanky commits robberies on dates that are multiples of two. For example, the second, fourth, sixth, and so on. And Shorty always commits robberies on dates that are multiples of five, such as five, 10, 15, and so on. Can you tell me how many times will they commit the robberies together in February? Take your time and let me know your answer through comments. Here's the answer. Since February has either 28 or 29 days, and because Slanky will commit robberies on even dates like 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, and Shorty will commit robberies on dates like 5, 10, 15, 20, and so on, together, they will commit robberies twice, once on 10, and once on 20. They go to a building to commit the robbery. The first floor window is open. However, Slanky will not be able to enter the building, and Shorty will be unable to reach the first floor because of his height. How do you think they'll be able to rob the place? Take your time and let me know your answer through comments. Let's hop on to the answer. Slanky will help Shorty to reach the first floor. Shorty will rob the place and will sit on Slanky's shoulder and they can easily escape. Interesting, wasn't it? Let's move on to the next one. The Ken Mall was one of the largest in Dubai. Unfortunately, a large number of robberies have happened there recently. The mall's owner was unable to catch the thief, so he ultimately asks for Detective Mayhul's help. Mayhul arrives and scans through the CCTV footage from the previous three days. He suspects four people, A, B, C, and D, who were frequent visitors to the mall. Robberies are now taking place on a daily basis, which means it has to be one of these four. Mayhul examines all three clips of these people's footage one, footage two, and footage three, and immediately recognizes the thief. How? Can you tell by looking at the video? Let us know by commenting your answer. Let's see the answer. Take a look at person D. He wore an eye patch over his left eye on the first day. The next day, he had it on his right eye, and on the third day, he had it on his left eye. He comes back the next day and Mehul catches him. Let's see the next riddle. 
London's most notorious criminal has kidnapped an old woman and her grandson. Mayhole rushes to the kidnapper's den immediately. The kidnapper throws a bomb in the room and warns them. This bomb will explode in 30 seconds. You can escape down this hole, but only one person can pass through it at a time. Now it's up to you. Who lives and who dies? How will Mayhul get out of this situation? <laughs> who will he save? Can you guess? Let us know in the comments below. Let's look at the answer. Mayhul opens the cover of the hole and throws the bomb into it. It explodes inside it and he manages to rescue everyone. Let's hop on to the next one. Jugga wakes up one day and has no memory of the previous night. He was dancing with a girl at a party. He didn't remember her face, only that he became unconscious after a while and that girl dropped him home. Jugga was trying to recall her and pulled out his phone. He saw a photo of three girls from the previous night's party. Look at the photo carefully and tell me who was with Jugga last night. Think carefully and tell me your answer in the comments section below. Let's have a look at the answers. The girl with red lipstick was with Jugga last night as there are red lipstick marks on Jugga's t-shirt. Jugga understands that and contacts the girl quickly. Let's move on to the next riddle. Rhea wanted to go shopping, so she picks up her credit card and goes to the supermarket. She puts a lot of items in her cart and then goes for billing, but forgets her credit card pin. No worries, Rhea is smart. She always keeps a paper in which there's a hint for her pin. Look at this paper carefully and tell me, can you guess what could the pin be? Think carefully and let me know your answer in the comments section. Let's see the answer. The pin for Ria's card is 2, 4, 3, 2. Bicycles 2 wheels. Cars 4 wheels. Tricycles 3 wheels. And bikes 2 wheels. Let's move on to the next one. Lily calls Detective Mayhul and informs that her husband had been shot. When Mayhul reaches the crime scene, Lily explains. We were just talking. Out of nowhere, there were two gunshots and Bob was killed. The man was wearing a mask, he ran before I could even react. Mayhul instantly figures out that Lily was lying. Looking at the clues, can you guess why he thought so? Let us know in the comments below. Let's now look at the answer. The house was a mess, which means they were probably fighting before her husband died. The argument escalated and Lily shot her husband out of spite. Look at the bullet holes on the wall. They are of two different sizes, which means two different guns were used. Mayhul understands this and arrests Lily immediately. Let's jump to the next riddle. Mayhul was walking down the road when someone sneaked up on him from behind and knocked him out with a stick. When he regained consciousness, he found himself locked in a basement. This is my house. But why is it locked? He had a spare key hidden in the basement. By looking at this image, can you guess its location? Think and let me know your answer in the comments. Let's now look at the answer. The key was hidden in this bottle. He draws it out and unlocks the door of the basement. Let's hop on to the next riddle. Look at these girls and tell me which girl is alive. A, B, or C? Let me know your answer by commenting. C is alive as her hairs are growing. For more such interesting riddles, subscribe to the channel.